Well, thank you very much. This is a very special moment because this is the presentation of the Space Force flag. So we've worked very hard on this, and it's so important from a defensive standpoint, from an offensive standpoint, from every standpoint there is. Uh, as you know, China, Russia, perhaps others, uh, started off a lot sooner than us. We should have started this a long time ago, but we've made up for it uh, in spades. We have uh, developed some of the most incredible weapons anyone's ever seen, and it's moving along very rapidly, and we have tremendous people in charge. And uh, what I'd like to do is I'd like to just start by asking some of those folks to say a few words. and. Uh, the importance strategically, militarily, and even from a pure civilian standpoint, and from uh, bringing our economy back, everything is going to help so much. All made right here in the USA, and it's going to be very special, very important. Space Force, first time in 72 years plus that we've opened up a new branch of the United States military. And, Mark, maybe I'll start with you. You'll say a few words, please. Yes, sir. Let me just say it's a very historic moment. Uh, the United States has been a spacefaring nation for decades. But we know that our adversaries in the last several years have uh, weaponized space. They've made it a warfighting domain. And so with the establishment of Space Force and the establishment of Space Command, the United States is now doing what it needs to do to protect our assets in space and to ensure that space remains the heavens by which we not only protect America, but we sustain our economy, we sustain our commercial capabilities, we sustain Americans' way of life. So again, another very historic moment. I'm confident that both the Space Force and the Space Command will do what is necessary to defend us in space and to keep America great. Thank you very much, Mark. Sir. Great job you're doing, too. General Milley, please. Sir, thank you, Mr. President. And uh, as Secretary said, this is a historic day. Uh, some time ago, uh, we made a decision to establish uh, the Space Force, and that's because we're undergoing a changing character of war, which is of historic importance uh, for all nations. And as part of that, uh, the space uh, part of our uh, universe opened up as a domain of warfare. And it's critical that if we are going to uh, sustain our way of life, if we're going to defend our nation, uh, that we're going to have to uh, defend ourselves in space, and, and therefore the need for Space Force. And it's a, it's a great day for the nation. It's a great day, really, for the world uh, that the United States of America establishes its first Space Force. Thank you very much. Please. President, thank you for your leadership. Congratulations, by the way. Thank you. Number one. Yes, sir. That's great. I, I appreciate the honor. Thank you. you know, 16,000 space professionals assigned to the Space Force. We're proud of this flag. They come to work every day focusing on providing space capabilities for our nation, for our joint coalition forces, and for the world. We're proud of this flag. We're proud to have an opportunity to present it to you here for displaying the White House. Oh, thank, thank you, you for your leadership. Appreciate it. Thank you very much. Secretary, please. Thank you, Mr. President. You've really demonstrated leadership in establishing the Space Force. This is an important moment and an important month, actually. Uh, most of the Americans, before their first cup of coffee in the morning, have used space, but very few people realize how important space right. is to everything that we do, and that it's vulnerable. As we need to up our game in space, and you've recognized that and built a force that will help to protect our assets in space and deter aggressive action in space, and if deterrence doesn't work, uh, to be able to defend our assets in space and those of our allies. So we thank you very much for the leadership you've demonstrated, and we're excited for this breakthrough moment. Well, thank you very much. I appreciate it. We're building right now incredible military equipment uh, at a level that nobody's ever seen before. We have no choice. We have to do it with the adversaries we have out there. We have, uh, I call it the super-duper missile. And I heard the other night, 17 times faster than what they have right now. Then you take the fastest missile we have right now. Uh, you've heard Russia has five times, and China's working on five or six times. We have one 17 times, and uh, it's just gotten the go-ahead. 17 times faster, if you can believe that, uh, General. That's something, right? 17 times faster than what we have right now. Fastest in the world by a factor of almost three. So I just want to congratulate everybody and thank everybody. Uh, space is going to be uh, it's going to be the future, both in terms of defense and offense and so many other things. And already, from what I'm hearing and based on reports, we're now the leader in space, and that took place. Don't forget, we're having a meeting today. This is really to unfurl the flag, but we've been doing this now for quite a while. I have to say that, from my standpoint, having a 
uh, a force, a, a space force in this case, but to be adding to the Joint Chiefs of Staff, which I've known about and read about and heard about all my life, just like General Milley to be the head of the Joint Chiefs of Staff is something that's a very special thing. Well, to add another force into the Joint Chiefs, and, uh, and we're getting a, a four-star, in this case, we're getting a four-star general on your board. So we're doing something right here. So we're doing something that is such a monumental task. So it's been more than 72 years. The Air Force, I believe, was the last one. And so we have Air Force, and not since the Air Force has anything like this happened. And now we have Space Force added on uh, with, uh, with full honors, I must add, with full honors. So today we're here for a uh, very important it's really an important occasion because we're unfurling the flag. And with us is Chief Master Sergeant Roger Toberman. And he is, uh, I'd like you to say exactly, because his rank is a very special rank. Uh, tell us about that rank. Yes, sir. I'm a senior enlisted advisor for the United States Space Force. And the highest, uh, highest sergeant by far, right? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. And no at the moment, the only one. So I oh, give counsel to the secretary that's, that's and to the president. chief. Uh, this rank is custom designed. Wow, that's beautiful. Uh, wow, that's it. And he's the only, the only airman that wears that rank, and will be the only airman that wears that rank. He's the senior enlisted. That's leader. fantastic, and I heard tremendous things about you, Roger. Thanks. Sir. It's a very important position. Thank you. You're with all these generals, but you know what? He's an important guy, right? So why don't we go ahead and do it? Let's do it. Yes, please. Thank you. That's fantastic. Isn't that great? Please get in the picture. That's beautiful. Mr. President, it will stand in your office alongside the other service flags. Very, very great honor. It's a great honor. That's a beautiful flag, Tim. Roger, hold that up so they can see. That's really beautiful. Wow. It's a big, that's a big day. That's a big day. Can somebody explain the logo? General Raymond? Jay, yes, sir, the, the Delta uh, in the middle is a symbol that the space uh, community has used for years and years and years. The North Star signifies our core value, our guiding light, if you will. And the orbit around the globe uh, signifies the space capabilities that fuel our American way of life and our American way of war. That's great. I'm going to do this for Roger. Dear Roger, <laughs> please don't put this on eBay tonight. <laughs> yeah, Roger, come here, Roger. Right. And we're going to sign. Okay, Roger. That's for you. Thank you so much. That's for you. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you. Okay, so let's do it. This is great stuff. Let's see. I, have, I think we have no choice, right, General? Come Absolutely. on over here. Good luck. Mr. President, thank you. Good luck. Okay. Thanks for your Fantastic. Thanks for and these are going for everybody, please. Okay? Thank you, sir. Thank you very thank much. Thank you very much, Roger. Thank you very much. Mark, you're all set. General, come on over here. General Kellogg's been fantastic, done a great job. He's working on a special project now, aren't you? Huh? I am, sir. And we're going to get it done. Very special project. Okay. Great. Thank you all very much. Thank you. I'll be going to Camp David tonight with a lot of different people. We have some big uh, things happening. So I'll be at Camp David tonight with uh, various people. 
various people, including some, uh, some of the folks on the Hill and uh, some of our great leaders. To talk about what Different things. Different, different things. Uh, no, not so much phase four. What? Phase four could happen, but it'll happen the right way. We have all the cards because we have the cards for the American people. I know what they want, and I've always known what they want. That's why I'm sitting here. Uh, now, phase four is going to happen, but it's going to happen in a much better way for the American people. Okay. Thank, Thank you, you all very much. Thank you.